When I found a lump in my breast, I was in a panic. All I could think of was that it was cancer. My GP got onto it straight away and sent me to a radiologist to have it diagnosed. When a woman feels a lump in her breast, we've got to find out what it is quickly and accurately. To do that, we use a combination of state-of-the-art digital mammography, ultrasound and MRI scanning as required, performed by highly trained staff and interpreted by experienced radiologists who can take a targeted biopsy. It was so efficient and reassuring. And the great thing was that I knew what to expect because my doctor recommended that I go to the Inside Radiology website, which told me what I needed to know. While I was anxious waiting for the biopsy result, I knew that they'd been really thorough. And I can't tell you what a relief it was to find out that the lump was benign. It really helps when a patient understands the tests we're doing. It's not enough to have the right technology to look inside the body. You need a trained team and an experienced radiologist to know when there's something to worry about and when there isn't. Well, I suddenly felt really lightheaded and dizzy and uh, I thought it was because I'd missed my morning coffee shot. But then my heart started thumping and my skin was really cold and clammy. And then the pain in my chest hit and it was agony to breathe. This is a medical emergency. It's rare, but young women on the pill can get a blood clot in the lungs. It's called pulmonary embolism. Luckily, someone called an ambulance, and then the next thing I knew, I was getting my lungs scanned, and then I was told I had a clot. I later found out I could have died from this. Radiologists don't just take images of the body and interpret them. We can actually treat the patient as well. In the case of pulmonary embolism, we can put a catheter inside the blocked artery in the lung and then inject a drug that dissolves the clot. I can't tell you what it's like to feel you can diagnose what's wrong with someone quickly and accurately and then do a procedure for them that saves their life. I got this sudden terrible headache at the back of my head. Can't remember much after that. Subarachnoid hemorrhage can kill a patient quickly and there's no time to waste. When we scan such patients, Sometimes the bleeding is in such an inaccessible area that surgery is just not possible. And that is when we can help by passing a tiny coil into the artery to block it off and stop the bleeding. The procedure itself is minimally invasive and avoids the need for traditional surgery. It not only lowers the risk for the patient, but also reduces the length of hospital stay and recovery.